Hey guys, what's up? It's Clary Berry. I'm here today to not do a tarot video, but I am going to just talk with you a little bit about what's going on. Because again, just all these energies, stuff's been stuff's been popping. It's been bubbling. So um, I just want to kind of talk about this and thank goodness we have sort of, I, I keep, have been mentioning in my tarot readings, the word respite, having a little respite, respite. And I feel like um, right now is a really good time for that. And, and right now is a it's a time where things are moving forward. Okay. So even if times are hard, at least they're flowing, at least they're changing and it's not stagnant. So we had Mercury retrograde, um, that we just got done with on the 20th, I believe, but, um, we still have a shadow period to contend with, but it should be wearing off, you know, I think for most people and our, uh, sun is in Sagittarius now and the rest of our energies are mainly in Scorpio and, um, Capricorn. Okay. So basically you know, this big new beginning that's coming that we're all been focusing on, talking about, hoping on, wanting to get to. It's like, it's really starting to happen. You know, it's really starting to, to come. We're really experiencing a realignment of mainly like who we are. And we've, it's like, we've kind of been watching ourselves and, and kind of like judging ourselves. A lot of people have been doing this, like you know, oh, I'm so annoyed with myself on the inside, whether they want to share that or not, you know. Um, but it's it's a realignment to uh, helping your, you know, your inner and your outer lives actually kind of mesh, actually be, um, you know, it's it's like your inner and outer vision of yourself is going is coming into like I said, more of alignment, realignment, getting more lined up with, again, what you're doing is going to align with what you are, um, you know, thinking and feeling and what you really want out of life. Okay. So there's a lot of expansive energies with Jupiter and Saturn right now, some really, really good energy coming up. Okay. So as we work into coming into next week, you know, we do have some different things. There is, um, a, Let's see. I think the 24th and the 25th is going to be a rather good day. And then we are coming into the new moon. Okay. So that's going to be supposed to be a really good, um, lucky new moon as well. But until then, um, don't push too hard, um, yourself or others. It's, um, you know, with some of the Sagittarius energy, it's like, we get kind of cocky. We get, can get a little bit arrogant, a little bit feeling like we're, you know, righteous and, um, kind of getting up on that high horse. And again, there's a little bit lack of caring about consequences at this time. Um, a lot of like judgment and ego or kind of those lower things of Sagittarius that could really be coming through and like that need to always be right. Um, that's just one of those things that we need to watch out for right now because that's going to be the tendency to kind of go that direction. Okay. But underneath it all, you know, we are basically, we're reprogramming ourselves, and that is a collective thing that is going on for all of us is this collective reprogramming. It's like, we need this so deeply because, you know, we're just taught to consume, 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 you know, and feel bad about ourselves so that we will consume in this life. But, um, this is more about accepting who we really are on the inside and knowing who we are and trusting who we are. So that's a very positive thing. Um, but again, sometimes these big changes, they don't happen, you know, without something, you know, going on to kind of help you get to the next point. Okay. So it can be painful. It can be difficult. I feel like, again, a lot of people are already dealing with a lot of intensity, drama, just things that are, um, they are really changing our life. But again, if you can keep this mentality of getting better, keep this mentality of using any little piece of adversity to only make yourself better, stronger, higher, you know, more elevated, more enlightened, all of, all of the above is going to be the best thing that you can possibly do. That's what we're here for. That is literally what we're here for. So it's very, you know, it is a time where there's a lot of inspiration. And like I said, we're figuring out kind of more who we are, but it's also, we're in this process of pushing it forward into what we really want. What do we really want out of life? It's starting to like become cl more clear and, you know, we're starting to kind of be a little bit more open to some of our own wants and needs that, that are deep, you know, it's not, I mean, we just got out of Scorpio. This is just deep shit. You know, this is not, oh, you know, I want this. I want that superficial bullshit. No, this is like 
realizing what you truly want to do, realizing your true life's purpose here. Okay. Um, it is, like I said, kind of a pivotal time. You know, there can be a lot of breakthroughs, but there can also be some break ups. Okay. So, and I'm not saying that, um, necessarily even twin flame energy, you know, I, I, I feel like as much as I try to do twin flame videos, it's just, there's so much going on, you know, that I just don't feel like it's the focus or that's where even these breakups may be. I feel like there may be ending of friendships, you know, even family or, you know, breaking up with a job or a place or, you know, something like that. Or it could be like some of the twin flame uh, people who their part, their partner or their twin flame is still in a relationship with another person. So those types of situations can be dissolved at this time as well. And I think that would very much fit in with the energy of what's, again, what's going on here. Okay. So stay hopeful, you know, for positive things. And again, even if you think something is negative, you know, oh, I lost this friend or, oh, you know, my family member has, you know, we're not talking to them anymore. It's like, oh, well, again, find that silver lining, figure it out. Or if you can't find it, just stay Stay looking for it. Stay, you know, stay on guard and try to figure out how it could possibly be. Um, or just believe it blindly. Like, whatever. Either way, it's going to really, really help you. And so kind of getting, I think just wrapping around, wrapping our heads around a lot of this stuff now in these next few days into this week through the weekend is going to help us coming into next week. Like I said, um, Monday could be very like a, like a happy go lucky romantic day. And that energy could go throughout the week, but the new moon that's coming is absolutely going to be, you know, new beginnings. And we are looking at very much less conflict, new possibilities. Um, it's a, I mean, obviously we're coming into Thanksgiving week here in America. So it's like, yeah, Oh, great time to be grateful, but truly the energy, you know, in the planets and everything is really this truly like elevation, like gratitude. And that's why it's happy because happiness and gratitude really do go hand in hand. And so it's good to the shadow work is huge. Cause again, a lot of this is about these judgments and, you know, we're kind of walking that fine line of, you know, we we're critiquing ourselves and we know we are not perfect, but it, you, when you have these self negating thoughts. It's like, oh, use it, use it, use it, use it. So get my program, check out the shadow work, figure out how to do that and do it a lot, do it a lot, do it a lot, do it a lot. It's just so beneficial and it, it really will help you move, I think, through this time period. You know, again, it's like things are getting better. Things are winding down. So again, really good time to go off and do, you know, have some alone time, do some meditation, figure out, help, help, you know, the more brainstorming, even though it's the overall energy that these answers are coming, that these breakthroughs are coming, it's like, you want to make them as seamless and as productive as possible. So, you know, focusing on this. Um, also, it is a good time, you know, for personal pleasure, making sure you're giving to yourself and that you're able to receive love, um, starting with yourself. Okay. So, um, also a good time to remember this week and next, you know, any type of issues that you have, um, most likely if you're watching this, you know, first world problems, you know, stepping back again, not getting too, not pushing too hard, not being too, um, drawn into any drama right now. And again, kind of, uh, checking yourself a little bit, you know, with the ego and the judgments and all of that sort of stuff, um, but yeah, overall, like I said, it's just a new sense of like who you are and how you've changed. It's like when we've been waiting for this change so long, it's like we're behind it looking forward. And now we're to the point where we can finally start to look behind us and be like, yes, I have changed. This change is happening. We're still not like over it, but we're moving through it literally as we speak. And like I said, not only the shadow work, but the abundant, uh, excuse me, um, my Aloha switch program, which is on my website, clarryberry.com or in the description box below. Um, but clarryberry.com always has the most up-to-date prices. Um, but the program goes through the holistic law of attraction. Then it goes to shadow work and then it goes to inner child healing. It is third over no 30 videos long, many, many hours of helping you through this and learning how to 
um, how to understand this. And then as soon as you start seeing how potent it is in your life that you start doing these things and doing this program, then you can actually teach others how to do it as well. So I highly recommend that, you know, this could be an investment in yourself as well. So uh, please email me, let me know, comments down below, stay subscribed, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your, you know, your views, your likes, your subs, your comments, everything. I love to stay connected with you guys. I am Clary Berry all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. And yeah, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great weekend. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. Okay. Bye.